retail jobs, the call center jobs, the fast food jobs, the truck driving jobs, and on and on through the economy. Stand to get, stand to get. And I'm going to be offering real solutions. Americans will immediately see the difference, uh, and that's how we're going to win in 2020. A closing statement that was perfectly crafted got to his main stuff and told you why he's different and why that's good and why it goes to the question of electability. Andrew, yes. I am that candidate. I can build a much broader coalition to beat Donald Trump. It is not left. It is not right. It is forward. And that is where I'll take the country in 2020. I didn't know what I was sitting down to, given the title, I was kind of expecting something completely different, but I was pleasantly surprised at what I was treated to, just a really strong piece, uh, something that obviously uh, was in the making for quite some time, um, and it's all put together really well. I had never heard of Andrew Yang until watching this, so there was a lot for me to learn. Um, I really appreciated uh, everything that was in there. You know, really a, an, an impressive platform. Um, what a great cross section of diversity for his base. It just seemed like a lot of uh, just really intelligent, forward thinking people. Um, yeah, it was really amazing to see it all kind of unfold um, over the course of the documentary. And again, just it did a really good job at, at putting it all together. Um, for someone who knew nothing of uh, Andrew Yang, I feel much more informed now. And I really did enjoy really this Really informative uh, documentary about who Andrew Yang is. And um, I think what they did really well and planned out really well was to focus on the people that were influenced by him and um, how his beliefs and his promises were going to uh, influence them and how it would change their lives. And something that I think was really smart was having to make sure that all the interviews came from uh, different walks of life. It wasn't a focus on a certain group of people or like um, like certain communities. It was just a very general thing. And it showed how he can influence so many different people and it wasn't always just focused on one. Um, so that was really interesting to see and to hear about. Um, I myself am in Canada and so I didn't really follow politics at the time. And I only knew that he was running because he was, I guess, one of the uh, first Asian candidates to run for presidency. Um, so I think that in itself was really exciting and it was uh, interesting to see uh, what other people thought of him and just like his promises and what he was looking into doing for the people and just how it would affect their, their lives. And so um, I hope that more people get to see this and understand where he's coming from and it's not necessarily going to be an easy run next time around, but at least people will be more informed about who he is and uh, the changes that he is willing to implement for uh, America. So uh, I guess overall, just really, really well done, well shot, really great footage from so many uh, different uh, runs. So uh, really great I job. I really enjoyed watching this film, especially as they showcased the passion and dedication of so many young supporters and the how they created the birth janging it was a hopeful message in the different rallies and to see the people that uh, was behind him and was putting their money uh, to this cause um, he was uh, a very he is a very charismatic political leader so i'm glad uh, the filmmaker decided to do this film. I really like it. Fabulous documentary feature, primarily spearheaded by one woman, a violin teacher from the States called Ching Jewel. She follows the U.S. presidential campaign of Democrat Andrew Yang. I loved how she really captured the excitement of his supporters. So many great individual interviews of Americans and why they were convinced to follow Andrew because of his policies. 
There was such a diverse variety of people and in various professions, from truck drivers to farmers, singers, artists, businessmen, engineers, accountants, professors. The locations were broad, from road trips to conventions to volunteer training sessions to bars and diners and people going door to door canvassing in the cold. I love the variety of musical styles. Notably awesome were the lively vocals and a trumpet solo. Lots of great footage of Andrew speaking at various events. I'm now very interested in reading Andrew Yang's book, The War on Normal People, after seeing this film. I was also very impressed by the energy of his followers even after he suspended his campaign. I sense that his ideas and popularity could be a face to be reckoned with in future elections. Great job. Fascinating documentary. I mean, the, the energy, the infectious passion of these people was just great to watch. Um, um, yeah, like any good documentary, it, uh, it really uh, gets us <coughs> introduced and get, get, get us, gets us to know um, a bunch of characters that we probably wouldn't get to meet in uh, real life. Um, it was fascinating to see all the work that goes into a political campaign my god these people are tireless um, I was getting tired just watching so uh, yeah it was great to see the, uh, their passion and how they they put action to passion and uh, really put it all out there to try and get their vision uh, realized to try and uh, encourage their guy um, get their horse to win the race. Um, yeah, a, a quite enjoyable film. Um, I didn't feel bored at any point. Um, so the pacing was well done. The bringing in new characters, how the old characters are influencing the new characters, like just the the way that the 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 whole story was shaped was uh, quite well crafted. I found the documentary really interesting from the way that it captured the stories of the different volunteers and why they were involved. Um, and I thought it did a really good job of also capturing the, uh, the candidate's platform um, and kind of explaining it through the story or through the eyes of the volunteers and of the candidate um, at the very beginning. And then I, the, the different pieces that came through um, brought the story alive and and what they were trying to achieve and i thought that was really cool beautiful images um really great descriptions and in captured moments would have loved to see a bit of the strategy behind it i know they had like a countdown of okay so we need this to happen before this happens in order to have this result um so it would have been interesting to kind of see like a little roadmap almost uh, at some point um and i think that would have tied those pieces of of them on the ground doing the work uh, even more closely together. Otherwise, I really enjoyed it. Really it gets to the heart of the uh, Andrew Yang campaign. What motivated so many people to join this coalition that um, at the beginning, uh, in its conception, not many people had much faith in, and that might have not ultimately led to victory, but led to a change um, and led to a historic recontextualization of so many different conversations that we're now having on a national scale about income, about taxes, about human welfare and how we treat one another. I think that it beautifully emphasizes the sense of community that was built within this campaign by those who were operating it and operating for it and operating for not just Andrew himself as a person, but his ideals, what he believed in and what he wanted to do. So it really gets to the heart of what politics and campaigning can be when at its best. Um, sans kind of political corruption, sans um, hate, hateful rhetoric and negativity. It's a real positive piece with a lot of optimism to it, despite, again, the technical negative outcome of it. It's a, a very interesting political documentary about a candidate that not, a, not all of us knew about. So, um, you know, Andrew Yang, they did a really interesting job. The lady who uh, documented this whole thing did a very good job um, of documenting, you know, uh, the campaign and all, all of the, the supporters. Um, 
yeah, the, the whole thing is paced very nicely. Um, you know, we get a lot of interesting interviews. It just has a very kind of CNN documentary feel to it overall. So that's very good. Um, you know, obviously um, spent time, you know, in the wild, in this campaign with these folks, um, really getting into the nitty gritty, um, you know, learning all, you know, getting all the information out to us um, through this piece. So the, the, the filmmakers did an excellent, excellent job of that. Um, obviously put in a lot of hard work over a very long period of time. And, um, you know, so we, we learn about his, his platform and how he wants to, uh, you know, has a specific plan for redistributing wealth. Uh, we profile a lot of his uh, supporters. And, um, you know, for uh, somebody that was wanting to make such radical change, you know, had a, a, a very uh, surprising number of supporters. And, um, you know, at the end, it's very poignant because, uh, uh, you know, he has to suspend his campaign. He knows he's not going to win the primary. But, um, you know, it was very noble in his speech where he says, you know, I, I can't ex I can't keep accepting donations because um, we're not going to win. So I'm going to go ahead and suspend the campaign. So that was very noble of him that, you know, he didn't keep taking people's money, as we know some other politicians would. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, it doesn't feel like... You know, at that ending, it doesn't feel like a, a defeat, really. It doesn't feel like we have a sad ending to this because the journey was was very important to these folks. And so even though it ended up with him, you know, not being able to win the primary and all, it was, uh, um, you know, it was, it, I'm sure it's, it was very obvious that everybody had um, a lot to learn about themselves and what they wanted to do to try to change the country. So, um, but, you know, again, it was just a very nicely put together piece. So good job on uh, my Yang Yang there.